They really did it! They actually did it! They really did it! Ducati really did it! They put a V4 in the Panigale. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I saw this last night. Uh, like, I was literally just on my phone like late at night and I saw the news broke that Ducati's new Panigale is going to have a V4 in it. Oh, uh, that is so sweet. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, that's a pretty bike. That is a pretty, pretty bike. But I will say it kind of looks like Honda's new uh, Fireblade, honestly. New CBR 1000, doesn't it? Look at these, look at them side by side. It kind of looks really similar. All right, why is this a big deal? Um, I know a lot of you that watch my channel uh, maybe don't have as much uh, motorcycle background. Uh, Ducati has been making V-twins in their sport bikes, excuse me, L-twins, sorry. They're gonna be very, the Ducatistas are gonna be very upset. They're gonna throw the Ducati Biscottis at me if I don't say uh, L-twin. They've been making their L-twin motor for a long, long, long time. Uh, you should check out my Ducati history video of Panigale below. Um, this is a big deal that they went for the V4. Um, their MotoGP bike has been a V4 for a while now. They made the Desmo Sedici RR, which was a V4. And honestly, I think, you know, not that Ducati was ever lacking in performance. The Panigale was a freaking monster, but this new V4, I think is really gonna up the game. Um, let's take a look at some of the specs. God, this thing is so pretty. Look at this bike, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so what do we have? We have an 1103cc V4 making 214 ponies. Holy crap. Guys, we're literally in the world now where 200 plus horsepower super bikes is not even a big deal anymore. That's crazy, that is crazy. So another big feature of this bike, you might've noticed it is uh, down in cc's from the old L-Twin motor. That one was a 1299cc, this one's an 1103. Um, you know, whenever you have higher number of cylinders, you can get more power out than a fewer number of cylinders in general. I don't wanna, I don't wanna speak too, too much in that regard. Another really interesting thing about this bike is that it has a counter rotating crankshaft. What does that mean? Uh, in normal motorcycles, the crankshaft actually rotates in the same direction as the wheels rotate when it's at speed. Uh, with a counter rotating crank, you can create more inertia out of the motorcycle under braking and you can reduce uh, its tendency to wheelie in a nutshell. I'm not an expert, as you can tell. It's gonna come with a quick shifter up and down. Of course, I've come to expect this. But the really cool thing is the new Panigale is gonna come in three variants. It's gonna come in the V4, the V4S, and the V4 Speciale. Speciale! And that one's gonna be an even lighter model making like 220 horsepower, which is ridiculous. That is insane amounts of power. We're like getting close to like uh, H2 levels of power at that. That's ridiculous. The interesting thing is here though, uh, that Ducati has put out this V4 motor for a while now. They've been kind of teasing it. It's It's been sort of like an open secret that the next Panigale was gonna be a V4. Um, but it's just really cool to see the renderings of the final design and it's a really beautiful bike. I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be super cool. Starting price for the V4 Panigale is gonna be right around uh, $25,000 according to this quick little calculation I did from the uh, pounds and euro figures that I've seen, um, which is right in line with the pricing that I've seen for most Panigales. Uh, the other variants are gonna be a little more expensive, you know, probably getting in the $30,000, $35,000 range. If you're talking on a top of the line super bike from an Italian manufacturer, it's gonna set you back a little bit of coin. I'm not talking about an R1 here. Even the R1s now are kind of pricey too. Yeah, so it looks like it's gonna come with uh, all kinds of fancy electronics like Ducati slide control, traction control, three riding modes, the uh, TFT instrumentation, which is really cool. I think more manufacturers should definitely start doing that. The new uh, Street Triple has that. It's really, really nice. So one really, really cool thing that I love seeing here is this new V4 revs to 14,000 RPM, which is so awesome. Um, one of my concerns and complaints with the uh, old Ducatis, I've ridden a couple, they just don't rev out as high as I'd like to, but they make up with torque. So now with this new four cylinder format, uh, definitely making it up with the bump up in revs, which is really awesome. Yeah, geez, it has so many electronics that is crazy. I've, I've never really, I've ridden a couple bikes with all these kinds of electronics. Like in Australia, I rode a BMW S1000 RR. Um, they feel, they feel a little muted, but overall, like it just, you just feel invincible, which for me, even on bikes that didn't have uh, electronics, I felt invincible. So would be dangerous to have a uh, Ducati Panigale V4. 
Trying to see the news here. I read earlier that uh, it had some kind of Bluetooth capability. Like a good link up to your phone, I think. I think it can do uh, like the Bluetooth data to your phone or whatever, which is really neat. But yeah, this is, uh, this is really sweet. Jeez, look at this chassis. Oh my God. That stubby little tail, it just, man, it just screams business, doesn't it? It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. This article says, making the Panigale V4 not only great for the track, but for those everyday commutes when you need to barrel down the highway at eye bleeding warp speed. Yeah, no one, unless you're a complete idiot, no one is gonna be commuting on a Panigale V4. <laughs> the soundtrack is really something to behold too. I'm about to link it really quick here. Uh, take a listen to how it sounds. What's interesting is the base model Panigale V4 uh, doesn't come with Olens, which I would expect it to come with Olens, but then again, uh, I believe that, you know, no other superbike comes with Olens standard. It's always like the, the trim up that has the Olens. Um, I'm a bit of an Olens snob. I really like Olens on my bikes. They make me feel great. Yeah, if you have the money, the uh, Speciale is really the one to go for. That thing is a complete monster. 226 horsepower Alcantara seats. Uh, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. What do you guys think of the new Ducati V4 Panigale? Is it about time that Ducati went for the four cylinder or should they have tried to squeeze out a little more out of that L-Twin? I don't think they really could have. Uh, I think the Super Ligero is really the, uh, the pinnacle of uh, V-Twin, excuse me, L-Twin technology. Yeah, leave a comment below. What do you guys think? It's a really, really pretty bike. I'm really excited to maybe see one in person. If I ever get lucky, I might be able to ride one. That would be pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.